what is Ethereum Merge and how to prepare for it. So Ethereum Merge is going from proof of work to proof of stake blockchain. So everything is changing. Miners won't be able to mine as they did with GPUs and other machines. You'll be basically staking in order to mine. There will be different nodes uh, and there's a huge fork going forward in order to, to allow that basically. Uh, so how to prepare for that if you're an Ethereum holder? Basically, the best strategy is to hold Ethereum in your own uh, self-custody wallet, uh, like a MetaMask or Ledger, uh, if, you, if you're using hardware wallets, but basically have your own wallet, do not hold Ethereum on exchanges. And the reason for that is that uh, you might receive uh, Ethereum also on the other chain. There will be this uh, POW, proof of work, Ethereum, uh, the old chain, and it might have some values. So in the end, you might be able to buy it, sell it, trade it. Uh, so it's worth having your own wallet for that because this way you are sure that you will receive that if there's any possibility of getting that and if it will have any value. So first, we, thanks. First, we have explained that part. Uh, on CoinMarketCap, you can see the, the countdown to the merge, eight days, 15 hours as of right now. Vitalik basically says, uh, he, he tweeted that uh, just a couple of hours ago, that the match is still expected to happen around September uh, 13 to 15. Uh, what's happening today is the Bellatrix hard fork, which prepares the chain for the match. Still important though, make sure to update your clients. Uh, so Cointelegraph basically is writing about that. Uh, the Bellatrix uh, upgrade is basically making sure that once the match happens, you'll be able to uh, switch directly to proof of stake. 74% uh, almost clients are already ready. So uh, three fourths of the, of the whole populations of client of the, of the nodes. This is pretty cool. Uh, there's the whole art, uh, article on Coin Telegraph about the match and getting prepared for that. Uh, so it's pretty interesting. I will, I will give you a link down below to that. Well, another thing you might wonder about is what about the price of Ethereum, whether it will go up and down uh, after the match, before the match. And to be honest, nobody knows because you can argue uh, like the, the, the match is already priced in, the match is not priced in. Uh, you might have different strategies related to that. Uh, the good thing if you have, if you're not a day trader, then probably the best thing you see, you can leave it alone uh, for now and just wait for the match, match and celebrate. Uh, the, the good time for accumulating, well, it, it's always good time to, for accumulating Ethereum, of course, but uh, if you're looking for the best entry point, uh, you might wait a little bit longer, depending if you think the, the, the match is already priced in and there will be like a fallback in price because that's one narrative, or you can start accumulating right now because after the match, uh, the, the quantity of Ethereum shall, uh, will be decreasing basically with time. Uh, some Ethereum will be burned. Uh, so if you believe in that narrative, then probably the time for accumulation is right now because Ethereum should be, uh, should go higher and higher. However, on the micro microeconomic scale, and this is also very important right now, uh, we're in this period with like a lot of uncertainties around the world, uh, with you know energy prices going up, with inflation going up. Uh, still, uh, there's different problems with logistics, supply chains. Uh, there, there's definitely just much less cash in the world available re readily. Uh, so it also will influence the whole crypto market and as such will also influence Ethereum. Uh, so my strategy for Ethereum is basically wait and hold. Hold whatever I have. Uh, I've been buying some Ethereum when it was around $1,000. Uh, not enough, of course, because yeah, who thought it would go back to like 160. Uh, but basically, Right now, the best strategy probably is wait for the match, see what happens. Definitely, it will be super volatile. Uh, so read as much as you can. The, the source on CoinMicroCap is pretty good. If you also click on that, uh, you will see the website. They have this uh, website explaining what is the match, uh, explaining what's happening. Uh, there's the different votes, you can different polls you can participate in. Uh, the risks, the live discussion, different quizzes where you can win stuff and, and so and so on. So basically there's a lot of reading to be done. Uh, Ethereum in the past weeks were basically floating between uh, 1,300 and 1,800. Well, it went up to 2,000 for a brief period of time and then it fall down. Um, but 
roughly speaking, between 1,000 and 2,000, that was the, uh, the price uh, from around the May. Uh, I would expect the same thing happen uh, in the future. Uh, and because of the microeconomic conditions, uh, it might go, might, might go much lower. But really, at this point, no one knows. I don't know either. This is not the financial advice, of course. It's only education about the merge and how to prepare for it. If you have any questions related to that, post that down below. Uh, happy to answer anything you have. Subscribe to the channel for more crypto news and see you in the future.